The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show well, we're walking through the process for replacing your home's heating and cooling system. We'll begin with our heating and cooling specialist Larry Hacker from Temperature Systems as he introduces our project and explains how to know when the time is right to think about replacing your home's HVAC system. Next we'll learn some factors to consider when selecting a new furnace and air conditioner as we swing by the TSI training center. And we'll finish up seeing the components our homeowners selected and learn how this new furnace and air conditioning system is as much about indoor air quality as it is about heating and cooling their home. So we have a lot to cover today and we'll get started right after these messages. An HVAC system from Bryant goes far beyond simply heating and cooling your home. It can actually create a healthier and more comfortable living environment. It starts with a Bryant high-efficiency furnace, air conditioner, boiler, or heat pump. Add the latest technology in air purification, filtration, humidity control, and ventilation, and you have a system that's unparalleled for creating the ultimate indoor air quality. Because at Bryant, we do whatever it takes. Reliable products, dealers who care. Visit Bryant.com to find your local Bryant professional. Here in the upper Midwest, most homes are heated and cooled using a traditional forced air furnace. And even when properly maintained, these systems eventually need to be replaced. So let's begin today's show with Larry Hacker from Temperature Systems, who explains how to know when the time is right to replace your home's furnace and air conditioning system. You know, Larry, the homeowners tell us this is about a 15 or 17 year old furnace and I've seen a lot of 10 year old furnaces that don't look in this good of shape. Yeah, this is a beautiful looking furnace at this point. They did have a problem with it though and that's why we're here. Sure, they're actually replacing it because they said it started to nickel and dime them but in this day and age, nickel and diamonds can be several hundred dollars. Oh yeah, they lost a blower motor in this and it's adding up to several hundred dollars and at that point, the contractor gave the homeowner the decision. One, we could repair it, or we can look at a complete new installation. Now, 15 to 17 years is average life. And when the homeowner heard that, they keyed in on it. Plus, we talked to them a little bit about what the new advantages are with today's systems versus what they had from 15 years ago. So if I'm a homeowner watching today's show, I should be thinking of that. How old is my heating and cooling system? And is it starting to cost me more money to operate than it should? Are those the questions I should be asking? Yeah, you're looking at that. You're also looking at just the raw age. You know, we think of vehicles, we pre-plan for their repair and replacement. Something like this, and again, it's a beautiful setting, something like this is forgotten. It's just downstairs taking care of my heating and cooling until finally it doesn't work. Then the contractor gets a call. Sure, and when it comes time to replace your system, let's get into that process. What, what do we need to replace here? I mean, this homeowner has lots of different options. Yeah, this homeowner right from the get-go had a lot of options. Typical installation, you're going to see a furnace, and in this case, maybe a humidifier. From there, they actually went one step further. They put in a very high-end media air cleaner. So we know as a heating contractor coming into here, oh, this person is very concerned with indoor air quality and what are the accessories. We want to make sure that we match or exceed what their expectations are with the replacement system. Because with the replacement system, they're going to be replacing everything that we see here. Sure, they are. They're going to come back in with a full new system. Everything will be covered under one warranty, which will be nice. And then it's all interconnected so that it all works together completely. And when you're replacing out a heating and cooling system in this day and age, is it as much about energy efficiency as we were, say, 15 or 20 years ago? Or is it more about comfort? It, the big one is comfort. You hit the nail on the head. This was a 94% AFU furnace. The replacement will be 97. So we're really not gaining a lot on heating efficiency, but we're gaining a lot 
around the ability to be more comfortable today. This was a two-stage, the new one's gonna be a modulating furnace. Okay, so what is the difference between a two-stage and a modulating furnace? I mean, to the homeowner. Uh, to the homeowner, a two-stage basically turns on in low fire and goes up to high when it's real cold out. So you get that blast you're, in the winter time? You're gonna get a much more noticeable amount of heat out of it, and in turn, it's going to decrease some of the comfort. With today's modulating technology, we regulate the heat into the home based on how cold it is out. The colder it is, the higher the capacity we need. The warmer it gets in spring and fall, we go to the much lower BTU input in order to keep that homeowner as comfortable as possible and hopefully they never even know their furnace is running. So really, that's it. You, you're talking about indoor air comfort here and by allowing that modulating furnace to run efficiently most of the time, even though it's running longer, it's probably costing less to operate and it's more comfortable for the occupants. Yeah, it costs less and because of the comfort level that homeowner is not going to need all of the different things that usually they have in a home today to keep themselves comfortable. You're walking around this house, you're not going to see a little room electric heater sitting there trying to be comfortable. In fact, they put zoning in this house and that breaks down the areas into smaller controllable areas of the home to even be more comfortable. So the bedroom in this case has zoned, the main living area is zoned, a bonus room is zoned. So each one of those can be comfortable when we're occupying it. When we're not occupying it, you put it back into setback, saving the homeowner money. Okay, so when we talk about replacing a furnace, it's really much more than just the furnace. You mentioned the humidifier, you mentioned the filtration options, zoning. I see in the background they even have a heat recovery ventilator and that really comes into play with indoor air quality. Yeah, the heat recovery ventilator, we forget. We try to seal a home up as tight as possible. And the homeowners think they're doing themselves a great service. They are from an energy standpoint, but they're not doing themselves a favor in fresh air. What that provides is that provides controlled fresh air for the homeowner so that we exhaust stale air, bring in fresh air from outside, and we transfer the heat that we're exhausting back into the intake air so that it doesn't require the furnace to run to heat that air back up. But meanwhile, I have great fresh air in my home year round. And in a nutshell, you're doing it very efficiently. So obviously, when you're replacing your furnace, there's lots of different options to consider. And is it fair to say it's a good time to consider either adding or replacing your existing air conditioner as well? Yeah, it makes sense for the homeowner to be able to do that all at the same time, because time is money. One, the homeowner's gonna be inconvenienced the least. In fact, in this system, they're gonna come in and do the furnace, a new air conditioner, all in one trip and to be able to get in and out in less than a day. So they'll have a new heating and cooling system complete. Homeowner gets home from work, the system is back operating. Contractor will obviously explain the system to them. And from there, they'll understand how it runs and be that much more comfortable in the end. As Larry mentioned, these homeowners are also replacing their home's air conditioner. And as Larry and I were heading out, we stopped by the outside condensing unit where he explained to me the process for reclaiming the refrigerant before removing the old unit. This is required by law and extremely important for our environment. I was happy to see that these homeowners hired a professional contractor who understood the process and took the time to properly remove and recycle the refrigerant. Stick around. Next, we'll swing by the Temperature Systems Training Center to learn more about selecting a furnace and air conditioner. An HVAC system from Bryant goes far beyond simply heating and cooling your home. It can actually create a healthier and more comfortable living environment. It starts with a Bryant high-efficiency furnace, air conditioner, boiler, or heat pump. Add the latest technology in air purification, filtration, humidity control, and ventilation, and you have a system that's unparalleled for creating the ultimate indoor air quality. Because at Bryant, we do whatever it takes. Reliable products, dealers who care. Visit Bryant.com to find your local Bryant professional. In our last segment, we learned why these homeowners were replacing their 15-year-old furnace and air conditioner. Now let's continue with Larry Hacker out at the Temperature Systems Training Center as we discuss some factors to consider when selecting a new HVAC system for your home. So Larry, I've decided to replace my heating system, but to me there seems to be a lot of different choices out there for a homeowner to make. So let's walk through what as a consumer I should be looking for in my new system. Yeah, on the furnace side, there's basically three different varieties that we have today, a single stage, a two stage, and a multi. This right here is a 92 AFU furnace, which uses an AC drive blower motor, single stage. So basically it's going to turn on, put out 100% heating capacity to the home, 
and then turn off when the thermostat's satisfied. So it seems to me to be pretty efficient, 92%, but still considered an entry level unit? Sure, very good entry level. Then we take a step up to a two stage unit with a DC drive blower motor. So what that means to the homeowner is we start to get electrical efficiency in the airflow side and the two stages gives me more comfort in the home to better match the load of the house. We've had these since basically 1986. Okay, uh, is there really that much opportunity to save electrically when you're running your furnace? Absolutely, the electrical savings from a PSC motor is about 70 to 80 percent more efficient today than what it is with a conventional AC drive blower. And I guess when I think about the previous segments you and I have done, we're talking about running this continuously. So yeah, there would be a considerable opportunity to save a lot of money and have a comfortable home. Absolutely. So you're going to be able to clean the air, make better comfort within it because you're blending that air all of the time, being able to clean the air 24-7. And then we jump up to a modulating, which is 98% AFU on the high end which will give you full modulation from 40% firing rate all the way up to 100%. Again, we think about, we have to size the furnace for 100% heating load outside when it's 15 below. And that doesn't majority, happen all that often, exactly, does it? Exactly, majority of the winter we're never at that level. So this will fully regulate down to 40% firing rate, better to match the output against the temperature we're really up against outside. So does that theoretically make it more efficient but also more comfortable for the occupants? The biggest advantage there is the comfort. And you're gonna have a system that hopefully you never even know that it's operating. Now, you said 92, 95, 97, or 98. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of difference in efficiency there. There really isn't. And so today, the consumer is looking at, one, the efficiency, however, it's based on the comfort. Sure, when we talk about indoor air quality, a lot of it comes from running the very efficient electrical motors. Absolutely, and that allows you to be able to want to do that, to be able to operate that 24 seven without really costing you much electrically to do so. Okay, so as a consumer considering a new heating system, you have good, better, best, there's one for every budget, but definitely consider the energy savings on the electrical side and then the indoor air comfort that these systems are gonna provide. Absolutely. Okay, as we're replacing our heating systems, we've mentioned that it's a good time to also consider a new air conditioning system. Are there similar choices to make? Very similar choices. What we have today is a single stage, 13 SEER entry level type unit, which means it puts out 100% of the capacity on an on off cycle. So to, again, to cool your home when it's necessary and typically that size to handle it when it's the hottest day of the year out to still be able to comfortably cool your home. And 13 SEER, it wasn't too many years ago that that was considered very high end. Absolutely. This is now an entry level? Yes, this is entry level today. Now as a consumer, if I want to update to something that's more economical to run, as well as giving me more variability in output, we then can go to an 18 SEER with five stages of capacity, single stage, five stage. So it will better match the cooling capacity to what my outdoor ambient is. Again, increasing comfort for that homeowner. Is that similar to modulation in a furnace, except this is called a five speed? It's similar in that this gives you five different speeds over the operating portion of it. There's also then one more upgrade, which we'll see on site, that's a variable speed. And that wow. will take you from 40% capacity to 100, much like what we saw within the furnace. Okay, so when we're looking at it, an entry level is a 13 SEER. These get more efficient as you go up. Obviously, they're gonna cost more. It comes down to comfort and energy savings with air conditioning as well. Absolutely, and on the cooling side, a big part of our comfort is how well do they dehumidify? We wanna wring that moisture, that hot, humid day outside. We wanna better wring that moisture out. The single stage unit does a great job of cooling the temperature and taking some of the moisture out. The multi-speed or the modulating will do a much, much better job of getting more of that moisture out. So hopefully we can have a warmer temperature indoors and be as comfortable as what we used to be with a single stage unit. Stick around, we'll head back out to the project to see the new system our homeowner selected next. An HVAC system from Bryant goes far beyond simply heating and cooling your home. It can actually create a healthier and more comfortable living environment. It starts with a Bryant high-efficiency furnace, air conditioner, boiler, or heat pump. 
Add the latest technology in air purification, filtration, humidity control, and ventilation, and you have a system that's unparalleled for creating the ultimate indoor air quality. Because at Bryant, we do whatever it takes. Reliable products, dealers who care. Visit Bryant.com to find your local Bryant professional. Earlier in today's show, we learned why these homeowners were replacing their 15-year-old furnace and air conditioner and discussed what to look for when selecting a new HVAC system for your home. Now let's head back out to our project where Larry Hacker takes us through the new system our homeowner selected and explains how this system was designed with indoor air quality in mind. Well, Larry, it sure is nice to be able to explain furnace installation in a basement like this and boy did the guys do a great job installing it. I was amazed how quickly it took place. Yeah, yeah they did a great job and that really goes back to the pre-planning. When they were out here talking to the customer initially, they did all of the measurements ahead of time so that they could basically shrink the time frame it takes while they're on site to inconvenience the homeowner as short as possible to be able to get the furnace back up in operation. So would that be a good question for a homeowner or viewer today if they're considering replacing a furnace? Ask their contractor how long it's going to take to install and are they doing any prefabbing out at their shop? Absolutely. To get that information up front, roughly how long is it going to take, that would be a great question for them. In this case, they were able to do all of this in about five hours on site. That's amazing. And also probably ask if there's anything they can do, like clean it out, because we noticed, again, very clean environment. If a homeowner can keep everything away, it gives the guys a much nicer working environment. Absolutely. Okay, let's quickly walk through some of the key points of this installation and really maybe explain how a furnace operates. Sure. What they did here initially, this is the return that's coming back from the space. If you recall, there were a lot of other items that were in here when we looked at it earlier today. They've cleaned this up considerably, took those things out of the picture. They've sized this properly for this new furnace. They've gone through an air purifier, which is the air cleaner for the furnace. We have the blower in the bottom. Combustion now takes place here. This is our intake pipes. We're actually using outdoor air for combustion, so we're not wasting preheated air that we've spent money to heat. It's taking outside air and then in turn exhausting the flue products out again back through another set of PVC. Then this cabinet is actually the coil that does our cooling for the home in the summertime. And they actually went with a new air conditioning system as well, right? Yeah, they went with an air conditioning system right with the furnace. And again, they were able to tie this all together in about five hours. Wow, that's just incredible. Now, quickly on that air conditioning system, that's a little different than what was here originally, right? Yeah, it was. They've upgraded the air conditioning system and they actually went with a heat pump so that they're going to be able to pull some heat in the spring and fall from outdoors versus running the gas furnaces off and it's going to save the customer some money. They're in a country so they're burning LP so sure. this is going to save them money electrically and on the gas side to be able to do that. Sure. So it's another option a homeowner can consider out there, uh, uh, air source heat pump. And they're Absolutely. becoming more popular in yes, our area. I know that. So as we can see, a lot more goes into installing a furnace than simply installing a furnace. I mean, we kind of make it sound easy. The professionals make it look easy. But their training must really be important. Yeah, with the technology changes that have happened over the 20 years, you're seeing a big difference in what we need to do for venting properly, what we have to do for airflow, what we have to do for indoor air quality, the different things that the dealer has to understand to provide the customer with the best installed system. They go through duct sizing classes, being able to do the transitions to be able to clean up the airflow, and that's critical for the home to be able to condition properly is to make sure that the duct works size correctly. Really? So as the industry continues to evolve, so does the training to keep the professionals up there. So at the end of the day, ultimately, the consumer gets the best value in the most comfortable home. Sure they do. And along the lines of a comfortable home, indoor air quality comes into play, and it must be at the forefront with these homeowners with the capture and kill filtration system. Yeah, that's just one of them. Let's step around the back, and I'll show you a couple more they went with. What we have here is a humidifier to add humidity in the wintertime. They've also gone with UV lights, which are going to radiate and keep the condensate pan and the coil clean from bacteria growth. They also incorporated a heat recovery ventilator in this house to introduce fresh air economically year-round. Wow, so with all the different options that are out there, they're obviously very well-educated consumers, talk to their professional, and got what's right for their situation. Yeah, they obviously talked to the contractor and we're able to get educated on everything that's available today. Seems to me there's a lot to control here. Is it confusing for the occupants of the house? There's a lot to control. It used to be confusing. Today it's very simple because it's all done through one device on the wall. 
and actually now it's Wi-Fi compatible, so we can actually talk to it with our cell phones. So as a consumer, they can be sitting on the couch looking at their system and make any adjustments they want. Plus, it can notify the contractor if there are any issues here, and they can dispatch somebody ahead of time even before the homeowner in many cases knows they have an issue. Wow, that's great peace of mind. Just think if you're on vacation and something happens. I mean, or if you're at home and you don't know if anything's wrong with your furnace, but your contractor can keep it running. Exactly. Well, you know, as we've looked at so many different options, we've looked at a complete system, we've talked about indoor air quality. To me, all these add-ons cost money, but there's a payback on every one of them. I hope the viewer realizes that, that it might not necessarily be just monetarily, we're talking indoor air comfort, and can you really put a price on a home's comfort in the occupant's house? Well, you really can't. And when you look at it for the life that this system lasts, it's pennies per day to be comfortable. Indoor comfort for the amount of time we're indoors today, it's really priceless. Sure, it really makes sense to me. Tell you what, Larry, I appreciate you coming on today's show and walking us through some of the options and this installation. It's been my pleasure, Stu. Now here are some key points to help summarize today's show. It's always a good idea to have your home's HVAC system properly maintained on an annual basis by a professional heating contractor. But keep in mind that even with routine maintenance, it will still eventually need to be replaced, as the average life of a residential furnace and air conditioner is between 15 and 20 years. And when selecting a new HVAC system, it's a great time to improve your home's indoor air quality. So be sure to discuss the different equipment options with your heating contractor. And finally, always work with a knowledgeable, experienced contractor who is willing to design an HVAC system around your specific wants, needs, and desires. Well, we're all out of time for this week's show. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time on today's Home Remodeling. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network.